Welcome back to our channel. Today, we're tackling an issue that many gamers face, the dreaded Xbox controller blinking when plugged into a PC. If you're struggling with this problem, stick around because I've got some easy fixes for you. If your Xbox controller is flashing but not turning on, the first thing you should do is charge the controller or replace the battery pack. Also, if you have an Xbox console, connect the controller to it for a while. This can sometimes resolve the issue. Next, try disconnecting the Xbox controller and repairing it with the PC, just like you did initially. Sometimes, a simple reconnection can do wonders. If you're using the Xbox wireless adapter, make sure to set up the controller with it, especially if the Bluetooth connection isn't working properly. In case the wired Xbox controller is blinking when plugged into the PC, ensure you're using the right cable. Some cables are meant only for charging. You need one that supports data transfer. As surprising as it may sound, turning on the controller and then connecting it via the cable often works when the Xbox controller's home button flashes. Now, let's dive into updating the controller firmware. Here's how you do it. 1. Update the controller firmware. Press Windows plus S to open search, type Xbox accessories in the text field, and click the relevant search result. If you don't have it, download Xbox accessories from the Microsoft Store. Connect the controller to the PC using the official USB cable. Firmware updates over Bluetooth connection are not supported. Once the wired controller is detected, click the ellipsis button under Configure. Now, click on Update Now. Read the update instructions and click Continue to proceed. Wait for the firmware update to install. Once done, again head to the Update section and make sure it reads, No update available. Finally, restart the devices and check whether the Xbox controller is still blinking when plugged into the PC. If updating the controller firmware doesn't solve the problem, the next step is to update Windows. And that's it. Hopefully, one of these solutions worked for you. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to our channel for more tech tips and tutorials. Also, leave a comment below if you have any questions or if there's a topic you'd like me to cover in the future. Thanks for watching.